Hello, I'm back. Okay, this is going to be a kid's one. And we are going to do Olaf in spring. Um, this is Olaf in February. This was one that I did um, at one of our um, public events at probably one of the round tables. Um, I'm going to do something that most artists completely frown upon, and I'm sure I'm going to hear a bit about it. But guess what? All my canvas is in my storage unit. I too am in quarantine, so I'm taking paintings that I wasn't too excited about, and I'm just gonna cover it up and make something else. So, I'm gonna use a large paintbrush. You're gonna need a large paintbrush, medium paintbrush-ish, small paintbrush. Um, and uh, I'm going to use, I'm creating this online right now. Um, I'm going to use, uh, I think, some green and yellow for my background, and um, or green and white, whatever you have. And um, Olaf, of course, will be white. I'm gonna use dark blue for some of my shadowing black for his buttons, his face, um, arms, and uh, his nose will be orange. And my flowers, any color that you want, these are hearts, these will be covered, and these are going to be turned into flowers. So instead of it raining hearts and him running towards you with, with hearts everywhere, it's going to be flowers. Um, the... Uh, First thing we do is we don't really have to dampen our canvas as long as we use a damp brush. I'm just gonna put this to the side because I just thought of something. So here's a, an old painting that I did of a, what is that, Paw Patrol? Um, big paintbrush, it is damp. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, any color you want really, but I'm putting a little bit of yellow and green on the brush at the same time, and goodbye. This is going to take a few layers and you are just going to cover it make sure you have a damp brush not wet and dripping but damp and again this is the biggest no-no ever but I'm desperate and if you have a ton of these extra paintings lying around ones that aren't your favorite, there's an option. Thing is, over the next 20 years, or if you get too much paint on here, it might start cracking and falling off your canvas. But it is what it is. Look at that. Ooh, you're gonna need several probably need a couple layers of this. Notice I am putting it on very, very softly. Very softly. Oops, I got some blue on my brush. I guess I'm putting some blue in there too. Once you get that covered, and you can't see your little painting back there anymore, you'll let that dry. You probably hear the fan in the background going for me. So you're gonna let that dry. I did one before I started. Look, you can probably see a reindeer in here. So, there's my, excuse my head. There's my blank canvas. And because this is a video, you don't have to keep up with me. You can pause, fast forward, mute. I'm going to use a, med a large paintbrush. Large for me is a, um, a one inch ish brush. I'm going to use that was the paint, white paint. And I'm going to start with Olaf. I'm going to start with his head. His face here is 
kind of the shape of a cup. So I'm going to start with that. It's tilted a bit. Maybe about here. I'm going to come up and around. Just a, a, a triangular shape. I'm painting this at an extreme angle. He is super excited. His head's falling off. It's okay. I'll fix it. Just make it a little bit wider and bring it down. And it won't be such a terrible angle. There we go. Still a crazy angle. We're good. Here's my triangle, and now we're going to do a half dome on top. trying to straighten out my angle here. Oh, he's a happy guy. He's going to be super happy. Do this when your background is really dry. Otherwise, you are going to land up with the same issues I'm running into. I'm going to get some green in there. So I'm just going to let this be. And then I'm going to do his body. So his head's really at an angle on this one. I'm going to start out here, and I'm going to do the first part of his body. I'm going to bring it out. He's a snowman. And around and down. Out and around and down. He's kind of lumpy. I'm going to color this in. Remember, everything looks blobby. We start with our background with acrylic paints, and we work our way forward. Once we add the detail, He'll come together and be absolutely adorable. I love this little guy. He's always so happy. Okay, next one, you're going to come out about... This comes in here. So you're going to take it and you're going to bring it out because he is a snowman. So he's got a few layers here. You can make him happy and fat. Like me, happy and plump. And... Man, I swear, since we have been on our stay in your house order, I swear I have never seen my family snack so much. I have all boys. I don't know if that makes a difference, but oh my gosh. That is when they roll out of bed. Not my oldest. He goes to work. Still. So does my husband. They're electrical linemen. I say it all the time. You're probably tired of hearing that. This is so therapeutic. I miss being in front of everybody, though. I'm bring this line down. Add a little more. Again, you can fast forward, you can rewind, you can pause, you can send me a message saying, what the heck are you talking about? And I'll go, I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. So I've got my little, my little guy on here. He's so cute. My edges, I don't like them very much. So I'm going to take one of my small brushes. I'm going to twist it to get a nice point on it. I'm going to take my white and just outline it. 
Make sure that you get, it's a damp brush, but you don't want it to drip. You don't want it too wet, or you're going to run into some other major issues. I'm using a matted paint, I think, a matted acrylic. You want a damp brush, but you do not want it dripping. So right now I'm just kind of outlining the areas that are not, that are kind of bleeding through. You don't have to because we're going to outline it with this, uh, this blue, but I just, I want to have options. I don't want to have to stay within the lines I've created. Okay. So if you've got a hot mess, you're on the right track. Mm, sorry, we cannot have music. Um, one of my artists says that Facebook will take down videos with music because we don't have the rights. Which makes sense. Okay, any color blue you like. I have um, this light blue on my plate already. But you can use a dark blue, you can use a light blue, we're just using blue for shadowing. So I'm going to start with right here, underneath his belly, with the small brush, and just, this is a crazy angle, and just very lightly, I'm just going to run some blue, it's not even a straight line, I'm just blending this in a little bit. So I'm going in between his body here and down the side. I'm using this for shadow. I'll go on the left side here. I'm going to go underneath his little jaw. Notice I am not, it's, it's a shadow so it doesn't have to be this perfect line. I'm going to come up over his cheek here down the side. Maybe halfway up here. Just wherever our reflection is not coming from. Our, so I have our reflection coming from this way so the shadowing would all be on this side. I'm just going to blend this in a little bit very softly. Usually you don't blend with this small brush. adding a little bit more and it's neat because some of my background is showing through so I kind of like how that looks like shadow as well and see here comes that green because I started painting on a damp background there we go I just put a little white over it to cover it Okay, along with this blue, his mouth is going to go about here, so I'm just going to draw a little happy face, starting, here's his cheeks, so we're going to come down about an inch, draw a line like that, a happy face, because this is one little happy guy. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to leave room about, what is that, two inches? And up here is where his eyes go. So I'm going to draw a W. One. Two. There's our W. Sorry about my angle. So as long as yours looks absolutely crazy right now, you are on the right track. Okay, I'm going to clean that off. And I am going to use our black paint. Wada wada. There we go. 
Notice I have a lid on my cup so that I don't put my paintbrush in there. I had a dollar for every time I did that. I'd be rich. Okay, continuing with the small brush and the black paint. We are going to draw a fancy M. So we're going to get these little half circles here. And these will be his eyeball sockets. You guys take your time. Have fun. His little eyes. His eyebrows go up because he's happy. If you have him go this way, he'd be very angry. And we don't want an angry Olaf. We want a happy Olaf. Okay, the top of his head, same brush. I'm gonna take from here and draw a line that comes up this way and a line that comes out this way. That is his little hair sticks, his stick hair. This next one comes up this way. And just use whatever room you have up there. And this one is gonna come off my canvas then I'm going to add another V here and a little one here. So he's got like happy stick hair. He's starting to come together. All right, his arms. This arm, because it's in the back, and this arm will be in the front. So because it's in the back, I am coming off of the side of, my, of, of his body. Not in his body, but off of the side. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to draw a crooked little stick line that comes up. And it, again, it starts here on the side of his body. I made it a little thicker because if you look at a stick, I made it a little thicker at the end and thinner on this end because if you look at a stick on a tree, they're thicker at the base and thinner at the tip. And then he has four stick fingers. so. Here I'm going to use this one as one stick finger, another stick finger, another, and another. So he's got a little hand. Aww. If you want to thicken this up, make his arm bigger, you can. And how you do that is you just outline it. So I'll make it thicker down here. And I'm just going to slowly outline his little stick arm. He's got a really long arm. He's cute. Okay, the next arm will come out of the in the inside of his body because he's kind of facing towards us. So I'm going to start it about where the shoulder would be, about here. And I'm just going to come out this way. It's a crazy angle for me. Sorry. I'm going to thicken it up at the base. Okay. Four little fingers. This one's going to come one, two, three, four. Sorry, this angle's crazy. I'm used to painting upside down with you guys. So because these came out pretty thick, I'm going to thicken these up over here so that it's somewhat symmetrical. There we go. We're good. Okay, now I'm going to take that little brush and put it in the water, and I am going to pull out a medium-sized brush. I'm going to take the water off on my chamois, and I'm just going to make sure that it is flat. The cut top, medium brush, flat, and what I do is I just brush up on it and make sure that it is nice and thin right here. Take the tip of it, the very tip of it, and I put it in my black paint. 
just the tip. And I'm going to make perfect circles. I'm going to start with his body here with the button. And all I do is I hold it down and I spin my brush. So his button will go where? About here. And I don't want it in the middle because his body's turned. Remember we have this, this arm coming, coming off of the side of his um, body and this arm coming off of the inside. So it gives the illusion that he's turned a bit. So to continue with that illusion, we wanna make the button come off to the uh, right side a bit. So I hold it on here and I spin it. Oh my gosh. You just made a perfect circle. This one comes down, so I just use my paintbrush for a line, bring it down, give him another button. I like how the white's pulling into this. It usually doesn't, but I do like that today. Okay. The eyes, you're going to do the same thing. One here, spin it. The harder you push down, the bigger your circle, the lighter you touch it, the smaller your circle. Try to get them right in the middle. If you get them too close together, he is going to look um, well, cross-eyed. Okay, so he's coming together. Look, eyes, Mom. Okay, using that same brush and the black paint, I am going to use just the tip of it. I'm gonna draw his, his, um, his mouth. You are going to leave about an inch on the outside. So you're not gonna start here on the corner and bring that mouth down. You're gonna leave a little bit on a little bit of this blue line showing all by itself. The reason is, is to give him that illusion of cheeks and a smile. So I'm gonna start here and I am going to draw. I can't see, so hopefully that came out right. A big giant U. I'm also going to draw kind of off to the side underneath the blue line, a square. That's his tooth. And then we will fill all of this in. Now, if you are more comfortable using the small brush, you go ahead and do that. This medium brush is my favorite. I use it for almost everything. If your white is not dry, you are going to have to wait to do this step because you will end up with a gray face or a gray smile. Wow, he is one happy, happy guy. Okay, now I know he looks funny because he doesn't have a nose yet, but for uh, drying reasons, we're gonna wait on that nose because I want to make sure that this blue is nice and dry or he's gonna land up with like a brown colored nose and <laughs> nobody wants to be a brown nose. Sorry, terrible, terrible joke. All right, continuing. I am going to continue with that medium paintbrush, um, but I am cleaning it off. I just threw it in there. I'm grabbing another medium brush. You can use a medium brush or if you have one, a lot, if it's a large brush and it's kind of got a tip on it, just not large, but any medium brush will work. And then I am going to do a few flowers here and there. Um, it's springtime. So I'm just going to do maybe some pink flowers, some yellow, red, purple, whatever you want. Um, to start, I'll do the pink. I'm just getting pink on my brush. And most petals are, are, are five, so there's five of them. So I just think of like Patrick the starfish, how he has, I'll put one here, how he has there's his head, just a line down. He's got arms, one, so two lines out there. So you've got the head, got the, um, the arms, 
and then it's an upside down V. And then you can just make them wider, rounder, whatever you want. So then, just five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, there's one. You can do another one. You can use the very tip of your of a pointed brush, or you can use the handle of your brush, again with the pink. And you can do the same thing, five dots. One dot on top, one each on the side. Notice I have the center is um, still open. And then two more dots on the bottom. Think of that V shape. So there's your little tiny flower. And I'll really turn these into flowers. I'm using with the small one, the yellow, and I'm just putting a dot right in the middle. Voila, a flower. This one, a little dot right in the middle. So I'm keeping these very simple. Is a kid's painting. You can do as many of these as you want. I'm going to do one, two, three. I love making these little flowers. Four or five, I switched to yellow. I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm going to take that yellow, put it in a little pink, and down here I'll do another one. One, two, three, four, five. And all I'm doing is kind of Patrick the starfish. Think of the head, the two arms, the legs. Maybe some red, red, yellow, and pink on my brush at the same time. Ooh, I'm getting fancy. Uh, do another one here. Three, four, five. Yeah, I like that. Red, yellow, pink. Another one here. And just wherever it looks like you need to see how that looks so cool, those colors together. I love kind of putting everything on my brush and seeing what happens. Um, just wherever it looks like you need some color to break up that green background, add, add a flower. I just dunked it in a little bit of white. That's a cool one. And down here, just yellow and white so it's just kind of like it's raining flowers <laughs> pink and white oh man I'm just going a little crazy crazy town but see how when it, it, having different colors on my brush it just gives it that little extra detail that it needs I'm just gonna go over this one a little bit more mm, maybe some small ones so I'm just going to use, if you have a tipped brush, you can use your small brush, you can use your medium, large, whatever. And I'm just going to do a few more little dotted ones to get some small flowers in here. I'll put the centers in af after I'm done making all my flowers. Remember, he doesn't have his nose yet. We will get him smelling these flowers soon enough. I could make these little flowers all day long. So much fun. Okay, so I've got flowers. I'm gonna put centers in them. Any colors you want, just try to make it, I put white in a lot of these. Try to make it so that it's a different color than your, than the outside of your, um, your uh, the, the petals. So the inside, you'll want it to be a different color. I like to do a lighter color or a nice bright yellow or white. I 
unlike this one, this one's really light on the outside, so I'll do a darker color on the inside. Just something that'll just make it pop. Wow. I like flowers. That looks cute. Okay. For his nose, if you don't have orange, you can mix red and yellow together. And that should give you a cool orange. More yellow, less red, which is kind of the rule of thumb when you are mixing colors. You will always use um, more of the lighter color, less of the darker color. Unless you're going for, you know, we're, we're going to get technical and uh, for specific colors you'll need to use more more um, more of the darker color but for your your main colors you know your yellows your purples um, you'll use more of the lighter color to get that that, um, that deep purple or that um, natural orange color okay for your carrot you're going to think of well, a carrot shape, but you're going to think of almost like a teardrop or um, um, what is that called? Just think of a teardrop. Tornado. I'm thinking tornado. So I round it here because we want to show that this is a round object so we don't want any, we don't want a straight line. We want to give people the illusion that this is a round object. The nose is, you're going to go right over your um, the bottom of your right eye, starting in the middle, and it is rounded. So I'm going to make the letter C, and all I did is mix some yellow and red together, and then I'm going to bring this around, almost like a circle, around and down this way, and then out to a point, and this one We'll just come out to the point. Now, you can definitely see that line in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'll go over it again. That's what you're supposed to do. I am making a video, so I'm going to try to do this the cheating way. So I take a little more color and very carefully I just tap the paint on. Tap it on. He's got a nose. for the best part ever. Gosh, he looks so happy. All right, going back to my small brush, we are adding our reflection. Small brush. White paint. Starting with my buttons. All I'm doing is a little half circle, two of them. The longer one on the outside, shorter one on the inside. We have reflection outside, inside. My eyes, eye holes, same thing. And using that, I'm just going to put a dot in the kind of upper right area. If it's wet, don't do that yet. I'm going to bring him to life. Then I'm going to take whatever's left over on this brush very carefully and very softly. You can always cover this too. I'm just going to drag a few white lines. Very soft. They are not solid lines. They are broken lines. Through his arms. Very soft. Not like that. <laughs> through his arms. Through his fingers. This is much easier to do when you're looking straight on and not sideways. A blend. 
blend that in a bit. There, 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 and this little sticks on top. I'm doing the same thing. We're just going to kind of add it right in his stick. I missed there a little bit, but whatever. Just need a little bit of reflection going on. He is such a happy camper. And I'm going to take in my flowers and add a little white line to the middle of my petals just to give them a little bit of reflection, a little bit of detail. Each one, if you have white flowers, add a little yellow or something. These little tiny ones, I'll just kind of put a little dot in there. If you don't like this, if it's not turning out the way you want it to, don't do it. This is your painting. It should not look like mine. It should be completely yours. You do what you want. It's art. And if it comes out looking like, instead of Olaf, but say, I don't know, Chewbacca, that's fine. It's your painting. It's a reflection of you and your personality. And I have not, well, uh, only one painting in, how long have I been doing this? almost, I'm going on my sixth year, I'm in year five, um, almost to the end of year five. But anyway, so um, I've been doing this quite a while and there's only one painting that I've seen that didn't speak to me. And only because it wasn't finished and she had kind of given up. And you know who you are. I'm kidding. So there's Olaf in the spring. Yay, he's so cute. All right. Next week we will do another one. I think next week, I mean, I'll do a, uh, a unicorn. And if you don't want to do flowers, you can do anything else you want. Okay. Thank you, guys. I love painting with you, and I miss your faces. Bye.